face the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Hang on, are you dead sick? If you are, I need help with something. We'll do our best to help out. What's your problem? Okay, I'm ready. Keep talking. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! Oh my days, you telling me clan killy gangsters thunder bombing. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. The feds knew it wasn't dead, so that did the bombings, but it kept letting everyone believe it. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Please, Brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating RBN and clan Kelly in the bombings. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion include... People have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. Looks like they implanted him with something. Thanks for the distraction. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. She considers herself to be untouchable. You made me a slave. All of us. The facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. I have all the blackmail data and, dear God, people are disgusting. Uh, now? Hey, you made it. Dead good. Glad to establish a foundation of trust. I'm ready to show you the contract I'm investigating. I watched my mother succumb to motor neuron disease and her loss made me realize that death comes to us all. Hello. My name is Sky Larson. I'm CEO of BrokerTech, and this is Daybreak. You call that alive? Sky, where do you get your twisted ideas? I will not become another of your sick creations. Sky, where am I? I can't see. Sweetheart, please, please don't do this to your own mom. Let me die in peace. You never believed in me, Mother. Believe now. Finally, we will delete the limbic code. How can I be of service, Sky? Turn the light on and off. Very good. You knew I was not your real daughter. You wanted me to see this. That's why you let me in. Yes. Welcome. I don't know. You. I can't see. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Listen to me. What you saw in my lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important Look experiment. Look around. Let me bring about the next stage of human evolution. Whatever you decide, she can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Please, don't do this to me. Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. You look ready to fight. Will you fight for London? Oh, you are dead, Sack. Good. I need help with something. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They're missed drones and do what humans have always struggled to. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? 
completely gutted dead set 1.0. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed dead set for the bombings to consolidate power over the... If you don't help me, Zero Day wins. Which means we all die. Oh dear God. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mrs. Chuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Don't move! Don't Hands move! Up. Auto drive now enabled. This radical cooperative you've created is doomed to fail, like they all are. So Mary isn't zero day, but she's involved. I will not abide civilian casualties. This is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well... Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Just a pill and a pint. Don't be so dramatic. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C, engage contact right, aim fire, aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. And no one better get it away. People are dicks. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Yes, I believe it with my whole heart. I'd even go scour the attack site just to out this wank stain. 
No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep. but not dead. Now let's fuck up some shit. You're so brave and strong. I know you won't disappoint. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Unbelievable. He's putting a blindfold on us, covering up his dirty deed. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Oh, you've got more angles than a protractor bags. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Of course. Easy peasy. Found all necessary elements. You're sure? There was a large amount of ground to cover. Yes, sir. The area has been scoured. On your orders, we are clear. Uh. Stay alert. Uh. to need a bit more data if you want me to reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. Move on. Search complete. Sync time codes. Don't 
like the look of that. Shut it down. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Right, so he could be a pro. Doesn't really narrow it down, does it? I'll go have a look-see. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. I see. I suppose with the number of enemies Cass has made, there's no need to fake an assassination attempt. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Couldn't we also run the truck's license plates? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this guy off. If there is dissension in the ranks, that's something we could use. First step, we need to get a look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Now, why on earth would they move it to the Tone site? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Too right. 